Okay. So, so far I've beat the game as Axel and Blades. Now it is time to try the new characters, which I believe I'll try Cherry today. What's up, Buster? How you doing, man? How you doing tonight, dude? happened to the release uh because i saw the discord you mentioned something about a video being released but i did not uh did not see the video so i'm not sure what exactly the video was about So yeah, I'm going to retry from last night the Shiva Mr. X fight that I did not complete last night. Mainly because I played as Max and just because of how the mechanics work now. It's not, um, doesn't benefit Max, I don't think. I mean, I'll try it one more time as Max, just for the sake of it. But I don't think I'll be able to do it. yourself boy aren't you Wow, he just came from the background. That wasn't supposed to happen. Nice. 
Yeah, she's about to die. Kill yourselves, why don't you? So the extra apple's going to be right here, or the taser, I should say. Get in the stage would be right there. See, he breaks out. Oh. Oh. See, he won't let me get close. Jesus. He breaks out of the grabs too. Oh. All right. So Max is not the guy to use for that. Definitely gonna have to use uh, Streets of Rage 2 Axel. Just he doesn't have the uh, the range to deal with uh, Shiva.
Just get him through combos on them. Very long. Miguel, loser. Well, thank you, Miguel. That's so kind of you to say. Please kill yourselves. Nice if they could blow themselves up, but of course not. So annoying how they just dash away, it really is. There we go. Jesus fucking Christ. So annoying. Taser. Time to fight Shiva. Well, the thugs first. Shiva.
Uh, come on. Come on, you fucker. Fuck. Fucking son of a bitch. It's the thugs, baby. You, like, you can't jump against the Donovan anymore. Because they changed the way his AI is. Just jab you out of a combo is very frustrating. Not only do they dodge you, they shove you when you get close. Fuck out of here. He just died. Cool. Oh my god. Chick with the fire, that's the annoying thing. Like you're gonna get caught in the radius. It's very annoying. No, I didn't beat it, I'm trying. I tried again with Max, it didn't work. I tried once with Axel, I got to Mr. X, but it's just the thugs. Um, the thugs get in the way.
because they changed the AI to the way they are in Streets of Rage 2, um, they just are extremely annoying. So getting to them takes uh, more patience. Right, get over here, come on. Oh my god, she, she won't even come to me. This is annoying. Just sucks. You can't. Uh, it's one life. That's that's dumb. All right. So we're gonna be on Shiva's ass. Breaks out of grabs, too. Something he could never do before. There we go. All that for a star. <laughs> oh, boy. Here's the other boss, the two bitches. With their invincibility frames. serious come on She won't even let me get to the fucking apple. So not only does she have an area of attack, she has super armor. It's such a stupid design. I can't even get near her if I wanted to. This is like this boss is this is dumb.
They're just some frustrating design choices. Now do play through a cherry. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I just wanted to beat this with uh, Shiva, Mr. X. All right. So time to see Cherry. So interesting, too, that I've noticed that in Streets of Rage 4, they don't show the stats. Because in Streets of Rage 1, 2, 3, it would always show you their stats in terms of speed, power, technique. Like a star system. And that's It's not here. There's no real way to know who's... The strongest, who's the fastest. I'm no daddy here. Cherry, hunt me. I'm no daddy here. She's no daddy's girl. Alright, so apparently she's a big combo machine. We'll find out. Alright, this is her holding. Her rear. Is this little kick, jumping flip, down, what's your blitz, that, okay. Her, her special alone. There's a lot of hits. So I'm already doing more hits than anyone else. Okay. So she can run. She's the only character who can do that. It would seem. That's kind of whack that she can be broken out of her stop. It's just one of those design flaws that I. The fact that she can be knocked out of her grab makes no sense. tried her specials yet. Again, knock, knocked out of a special. I don't get it. It's just the, the priorities in this game are so fucking out of whack. Enemies have priorities that they never had before. What's the point of doing this move if anyone can knock me out of it? I just don't understand. I 
I just don't get it. That's it's it's dumb. Okay, they make the tiny girl the most power. I don't say she's powerful. She just has a lot of hits. But see, like so, like with skate, you jump behind somebody, you're pun you would like punch them in the back of the head repeatedly. It's an automatic thing. Here, you have to manually punch them. But the thing is, you can't do that in a crowd because an enemy will just punch you out of it. That's dumb. It should be considered a throw. Look, I'm getting punched, uppercutted out of that special. It makes no sense. A lot, a lot of these priorities are so out of whack in this game. out of throws. Again, knocked out of a special, I just don't understand. That should not be possible. It goes against the all the old rules. I don't understand the point of her downward kick that doesn't hit stun, you just bounce off the combo. Doesn't seem to have any actual use in combos. A lot of weird. Uh, yeah, she's weird. Was that an infinite juggle? Oh, with the, the Y signal on the wall? Yeah, I guess. Depending. But it stopped me after a while. Again, look, special, beaten. He knocked me out of a special. What's up with that? It's just, this is the priorities in this game are so out of whack. I don't get it. Mind you, I haven't even touched your specials yet.
again. Specials. Breaking me out of my moves. Those are just non-existent weird. Again, breaking me out of my special even though I hit you first. Breaking me out of my special. What? I don't get it. <laughs> it's a multi hit special. She just smacks it away. I just, uh, the, the, the priorities here. Jimmy Boy, what's up? Doing all right, dude. So, she has. A lot of combo ability, but the problem is again because the priorities in this game are so out of whack. I can be in a crowd of three doing a special, and at any point, any one of those three guys could just poke me and knock me out of the combo. That's dumb. Um, it's never been like that with Streets of Rage before, where enemies have that much priority. Blows my mind. It's, it's definitely a legitimate gripe um, because it's something that shouldn't exist in the first place. But uh, how are you, Jimmy? Hope you're well. So yeah, for, for the combo ability, but again, her throw, she doesn't have an actual throw. She has this ground slam, which is this, but then you can't really follow it up. So her special is like a, it's like this, let me see, that, she got lots of hits. Yeah, I, I can go over 100 hits. Um, but it's not, it doesn't really feel that satisfying, to be quite honest. You could just break out of that. Again, I had a special, he just broke out of it with the taser. Again, special, Donovan just uppercut out of it. Makes no sense. 
a lot of the priorities here are just very skewed and don't really make any sense in terms of a combo mechanic. Let me see how Zamza plays against Cherry. Or Jack. I'm sorry. I'm mean, good. How about you? Watching you play this makes me want to play. <laughs> well, that's good. Amazing. What is this? Killer Instinct? Oh, the 100 combo? Yeah, I mean, I've seen people do it. Um, I didn't think I'd be able to pull it off, but... But the timing <clears throat> for the juggles is really weird. And the arc of her, her move, it's like, if you see it, Ernie, it's like burning knuckle because she, like, slightly raises. It's not full-on horizontal. But you need to catch it, somebody with it, right at the start. That was, that's what's going to do the combo hits. If you do it too late, it'll just hit them once or just completely whiff them completely. And I can't really follow up with with the other. Not sure how I feel about her, to be honest. No. Not quite sure just yet. Just have the, I love to get used to her. So her specials is the A, is the guitar strikes, was like an area of effect, and the towards A is like a dashing one, which I just did now. Did you just combo grab off a grab? Yeah, so I've never done that. So the when you jump from behind and you punch them in the head, I guess when you kill them, you jump and you can just latch onto somebody else. But the pro that's the problem. If, if you do it in a crowd, it it, like if that was a Donovan, he would have uppercut me because it's an anti-air and his, uh, his anti-air has priority. Now this guy, the commissioner, because he has the super armor, I think with Jerry, it's going to be a pain because uh, I don't really have a grab to deal with him. shot and I couldn't get the health. I don't want to overshoot here because then I'll miss the health here.
Shit, I timed that off. I think melee weapons with her are useless. All right, Commissioner. This is gonna be annoying. He, how did he grab me in the middle of a special? Come on. That's bullshit. Yeah, so she has like no, she has no range with her hits, so that's the problem with him, because he auto automatically grabs you. It just becomes an exercise of frustration.
again, just headbutt on wake up. Because her reach is so bad. how close I need to get to uh, to activate that. So her range leaves a lot to be desired. She, he just broke me out of a special. Are you kidding me? That's nuts. A lot of a lot of the priorities are just uh, they they do need to be changed, without a doubt. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Priorities are so, so stupid in this game. How they can break me out with the specials, I'll never fucking know. This, this, why did the special not kill him? I just don't understand this, the priorities. Why is it not dominoing into the other guy? I'm noticing this with her far more than the other guys. He even has super armor over the, the special. Shit. 
Yeah, her combo potential is it's there, but it just seems to be so limited in what it, what, how you can apply it. Oh my god, the fact they can diagonally Just catch him in the loop. Fucking bitch. Again, breaking me out of my special. Oh, Jesus Christ. You fuckers, man. I unnecessarily died because of one fucking cheap hit. Ah, so stupid. Is there extra life? Nope. Treats your H2 there is if you go down.
Alright, at least the throw has invincibility frames. Fuck. Of course I say that. Fucker comes out with a knife. I like how Zamza hits you. It sounds like the streets too bang. Yeah. That's another thing that I mentioned in the chat. It's the hits. The hits don't have impact here. Because, you know, when you play Streets of Rage, especially two or three, you hit them with a, a bat, uh, up steel pipe. You hear the whoosh. You know, it, it's a big oomph. Or even the punches, you just psh, 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 You know, here, it sounds like a wet towel. How could they screw that up? That's, you know... All right, bitch. Let's go. At least I can run. That will make dodging these things a little easier. Ability frames. Oh, oh. So it's easier to dodge these, at least. So there's that. So there is some utility to where they're running around. You can dodge things a little bit easier. And I gotta see because I died. Because I had one cheap hit. All right, so I got skates. Okay. So now Streets of Rage 3, which I believe is... Dr. Zayan, Axel, Blaze, Skate, and Shiva. I don't think Rue is in there. I don't believe he is. All right, let me go grab a drink because I am thirsty. I'll be right back.
Yes, they totally set up my controller and did a special. Whoops. Shame on me. Trying to get the invincibility frames. So this move bypasses, it does have invincibility frames, so there's that. Out of it? Are you kidding me? Uh, melee weapons are useless in this game. They really are, because they do no damage. It's pointless. So here, throw is pretty good because again, it at least has an invincibility frame. So there's that. I'll give it that. So I could time it.
shit. Well, I broke the arcade machine. Oh well. Can't even break a knife guy. Is extremely disconcerting. First off, she wasn't even flashing red. She should have flashed red before she did that throw, but she did not. Alright, Barbin. Kidding me? Oh my god. She broke out of that. What the fuck? That's not supposed to be broken out of. A fucking melee just ruined my combo. Fucking piece of shit. I don't get it how when I played these blaze, none of the biker chicks came out. But here they just kept coming.
and he's gonna break. Just because he has his melee weapon. Fucking unbelievable. Melee is very frustrating in this case, to the point of being useless, really. I'm not a fan of the melee at all. I'd rather just not even use melee. Oh my god. You, you can't even use your special to break out of these, these hits. That's the like the worst part. Very frustrating in some regards. A lot of the times you don't feel like you're in control, and that's the worst feeling to have in these types of games. In a place with so many melee weapons. Shit. And in a spot with so many melee weapons, you're in the middle of a combo, you'll grab a melee weapon and it'll destroy your combo and fuck you up. I think that's the most frustrating aspect of combo system in this game. There should be priorities. If you're in the middle of a combo, it should know that you're not taking a melee weapon in the middle of a combo. A lot of things could be easily avoided if you if you understand the mechanics. All right, so he breaks out of the special. This is really my only course.
Now this part's going to be frustrating. Because enemies have long melee attacks. And I have nothing. me out of my combo. It's frustrating. Stuff that should not be happening to me, but it is. don't understand why the Donovans have no wind-up animation. They just do it. It changes everything. Just gonna spam this. That's so good. Yeah, she was kind of a pushover. Kind of a pushover. He's an absolute joke, absolutely. He's not aggressive at all, like what? Why'd they do that to my man? Shiva, 
Jiba in two was a fair fight, a fair but tough fight. In three, he was a little too fast for his own good. God damn it, I was trying to go for a ranged throw, but this fucker had to break it. Frustrating, frustrating. I'm telling you that those of this game were all SJWs, so all the male characters in this game suck. <laughs> well, I don't know. I haven't tried Floyd yet. He's supposed to be the powerhouse. Fuck. Come on, I was in the middle of a throw. Oh my god. You see the bullshit that their grabs? Their grabs are diagonal. You don't have a roll, so he's going to grab you no matter what. That's bullshit. It's a stupid design choice. The fact that you have no horizontal dodge. Come on, that's horseshit. a combo, like, what am I going to do to fight against that?
why they gave the commissioner super armor the entire time is dumb. And he's doing throws when he's blinking white. It should be when he's blinking red, so that's it's it's not working correctly. Blinking white means he has super armor. Blinking red means he's going to grab you. Right, at least I'll be able to dodge these bitches a little easier. Can't even do a combo on them because their bottles break. Fuck. Because of her bottle, I lost I lost the combo. That's another problem. So you can rack up your combo and it'll be X amount of hits. You get hit once, you lose the entire score bonus. Like that's that's dumb. You should cash you in for how much you got so far. Oh, come on. Right, let me try. See how Shiva plays.
Oh, you fucker. God damn it. I can't believe they only give you one chance for that. It's so dumb. Bitch. Bunch of right in the cooch. Search three axle, all right. Get in there. I'm assuming it's going to be Blaze next, then Escape, Dr. Zan. Only makes sense.
get out of here. We got the security guards here. Elevator time. Oh, come on. How was I going to know that would kill me, too? What the fuck? Out here. All right, max time. Dark Street Rage 4, what's up, Foxhound? Uh, I mean, obviously I'm playing through with everyone, so I suppose that means I am enjoying it to some modicum, right? What's up, you, Foxhound? I hope all is well. Cherry is mainly the new skate. Well, she's skate sister, so yeah, basically. Um, I mean, she's obviously got a lot of combo potential, but her lack of range really is a shortcoming. Um, but she's all right. Uh, let me see how I go with Max here. Get out of the way for the Tomahawks.
היו סתם המאנס. I probably just could have gotten him in a loop on that. <laughs> that would have been the end of it. Floyd is the new Max Dr. Zant. Well, well, of course. Yeah, he's the heavy. I enjoyed the heck out of this game. Eat it. So, mainly, so many times. So, a while before I stream it. Okay. Oh, uh, what difficulty were you playing it on? Were you doing, like, hard or... Normal, easy, but uh, what difficulty were you doing? This fucker with these goddamn melees. Fuckers, man. I ran to you. What the fuck? I can't even run and grab you? Are you fucking shitting me? Wow. That's fucking stupid. That's stupid. Like, I can't even dash to them and grab them while they're doing that? Come on. Since when the fuck did he have super armor? with their invincibility frames. They should not have invincibility frames, the regular grunts. He's gonna get me. It's, oh my, this is stupid. It's so frustrating, man, with the, with the melee weapons. There are a few enemies I don't like, the teaser cops, the shield cop, and the bomb tossers. We don't normal and easy, mania is super hard, only got the stage two. The commissioner boss, okay. Well, the, the shield cops, I mean, there's a, there's a pretty easy strategy to overcome them. It's literally, uh, you can jump to uh, override their stab attack. So like you hit them twice, one, two, jump when they when they thrust, because the jump hitbox is not affected by the thrust. <clears throat> so it's just rinse and repeat. You punch, 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 jump, punch, 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 jump, punch, break the shield, <clears throat> then combo. The uh the taser guys unfortunately are just they're dumb because they have um not only do they have their grab. Your grab can go diagonally. You can't. 
Um, so it just becomes very hard to avoid. Very foolish. Is that hitting me? I'm not even on the right, on the same plane as that. Oh my god, I tried to grab the app for you, motherfucker. It's so frustrating where these guys pull out a knife out of nowhere just to kill you. Cherry Adam Hunter's daughter? Yeah, that's why her name is Cherry Hunter. Also, is Shiva really Axel's brother? Or did Shiva mean it like, yeah, he just meant like, you know, old friend or old rival. They're not related. Goro is also annoying sometimes if your character can't throw them. Yeah, I've noticed that sometimes he gets priority with his little punch, um, which is a little annoying. I gave this 4 out of 5 because there is once in a blue moon bugs. I wouldn't say once in a blue moon, it's just, uh, it's just not balanced. There are a lot of, a lot of instances where you don't, the game isn't balanced, right? Alright, so the trick here. signal. Them to the other end.
And I, some people say he's hard. I don't understand how that's the case. If I stream this, it will be on easy, and I won't read it out loud because I can't keep up with the text. I mean, I'm not sure. I don't see why you need to say that. I, I don't understand the context of what you're saying. You mean like narrate the cutscenes? I don't know why you'd feel you'd have an obligation to do that. I only encountered a bug in the dojo and castle where I won't let you go to the next floor. Sometimes I have to jump to get to the next room floor. Huh. Never heard of that. Interesting. Oh, come on. That was lame. So let me show you the thing with the riot cops. Obviously, I want to get rid of the girls first, though. All right, so with the cops, you go one jump, one, two, three, jump, one, two, three. Time to so you just got to jump, jump through their their thrust. frames. Single her out. Alright, so again, one, two, jump, one, two, three, jump, one, two, three, jump, one, two, three, one, two, boom, and then just punish as normal. So they're not too bad once you understand their weakness. I might stream this in the afternoon. Not sure. I think I have run left in me. Oh, I see where I messed up. I usually jump away instead of just jumping. Yeah. As long as you jump straight up and you time it right, you can bypass the thrust. Oh, you're not going to get me, you fucker. Not this time.
I, I did that by accident. I did not mean to do that. soldiers first. Don't want to touch the electric. Wish the customers had voiced, but I guess they wanted to keep it like the original. Yeah, that was probably a budget issue, to be honest. All right, Mr. Y is pretty easy. Nothing too crazy with him. kind of a pushover.
He's got to stay out of his line of sight. Got me for that. Wow. Surprised. Oh, there he goes. Mr. X put up more of a fight than his son and daughter. Absolutely, they're very easy, as you can see there. It's very much a letdown with uh, the bosses. They're very hit or miss. Some of them are just hard for the sake of frustration. And then like Shiva and the Mr. X and Y, they're just easy as fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Shit. Oh well. Don't need you grabbing stuff. What? Okay. Okay, sure thing. That's some malarkey. I don't need you fucking this up. Really? Fuck it. Well, I'm gonna die. All because. 
because they're little bullshit, man. What the fuck, man? Oh my god. So fucking stupid. Now I'm on my last life. Wow. Oh my god. I'm gonna get a game over with Cherry. Fuck. Come on, stop grabbing a fucking weapon. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat them with just one life. God damn it. Now I got these ninja guys too. your life good right, kill each other I'm all for it I'm not going to get 6,000 points. Be nice. But not happening. Alright. Can I do this? In... Oh, okay. Well, I fight her first. Alright, that's not too bad. I forgot. She runs diagonal, nothing to worry about.
Oh shit. She runs away like a little bitch. So I want to keep the focus on him. He's the biggest threat. Mr. X goes to the robot. That's okay, because the robot's not too bad. Staying on the top right helps. Staying on the top left, it helps. You do remain safe, relatively. This is the first time I've killed her before before him. So this is first. Oh, come on. The splash damage should not have killed me. That's horseshit.
I was I wasn't even near that hit. Come on. That was pretty lame. Not gonna lie. So it's Reese Rage 3 plays, I presume. No, I didn't even look at the extras. Got the extras option here. Character info. Oh, okay. Axel Stone, occupation, ex cop, fighting style, martial arts, hobby, video games. This is where you have the strip. The, uh, the stats. Okay. Four star power, three star technique, three star speed, two star jump, three star stamina. After the fall of Mr. X, I had to retire from the police force and moved out of the city. Desperate to find true strength beyond his fists, he went to live in the wilderness. He spent his days training, meditating, and studying. However, despite his love for the simpler life, a call from Blaze was all it took for him to return to the city once more. Moves Grand Upper, Grand Dragon Smash, Dragon Wing, and Grand Hook. Blaze Fielding, Occupation Dance Instructor, Fighting Style Judo, Hobby Lambada, which is the same as the Streets of Rage 1. Three Star Power, Four Star Technique, Three Star Speed, Three Star Jump, Two Star Stamina. Blaze was dishonorably discharged from the police force when she refused to take anger management classes after punching the commissioner in the face over an ethical disagreement. These days she works as a dance instructor and choreographer for local musicians or musicals. She still has a bad habit of getting into street brawls, with her ear ever to the ground, she picked up on rumblings of a new crime syndicate and immediately started calling in old favors. Moves, Kiko Show, Yu Kyak, Vertical Slash, Ishu Suzan, Tamashi Age. Jerry Hunter, Occupation Guitarist, Fighting Style Pogo. I'll be repairing motorbikes, one star power, three star technique, five star speed, four star jump, two star stamina. Being the daughter of Adam Hunter, the most decorated cop the force has ever known, isn't easy. It comes with a lot of baggage and a lot of frustrations. While Cherry inherited his brawling talents, she didn't inherit his desire for law and order. Choosing to devote her life to music, she spends most of her nights playing electro progressive rock in some of the most dangerous dives in the city. Moves Flying Me, Town Chen Smash, Sound Check, and Stage Entrance. Floyd E. Rea, Occupation Mason, Fighting Style Rock Machine Fist, Hobby Science. Five Star Power, Four Star Technique, One Star Speed, One Star Jump, Three Star Stamina. Floyd has always worked hard for the local community until a horrible work accident left him armless. The management at the construction company decided to invest in lawyers rather than helping him with the massive medical bills. In the end, help came from Dr. Zan, with whom Floyd spent years learning how to build and use his new cybernetic arms, which Zan had developed. When Blaze called on Dr. Zan for help, Floyd was the one who answered. Moves Thunder Twins, Magnetic Grab, Thunder Sphere, Thunder Pounce, Rakushin Cannon. Adam Hunter, Occupation, SIF Agent, Fighting Style Boxing, Hobby, Bonsai Trees. Same hobby as the Juicer H1. <clears throat> four Star Power, Four Star Technique, Two Star Speed, Three Star Jump, Three Star Stamina. After the events of 10 years ago, Adam just wanted to take care of his daughter, Cherry. But he was called on to join the Special Forces and infiltrate the new organizations gaining control of the city. Having been in the shadows for too long, he finally decided to finish the fight he started. Moves, Boozy Punch, Howl Fang, Chopper, and Sword Strike. Shiva, Occupation Dojo Master, Fighting Style Kempo, Hobby Meditation. Four Star Power, One Star Technique, Three Star Speed, Two Star Jump, Four Star Stamina. 
After the fall of Mr. X, Shiku was enlightened and started a dojo to make use of his talent and promote Buddhist teachings. Unfortunately, many of his disciples left to join the new crime syndicate. What finally made up his mind, however, were the reports of animal cruelty at Y Secret Labs. Now he's just waiting for the moment to strike, and when he does, he'll strike hard. Moves, final crash, flaming circular kick, handspring palm strike, and rising kick. So he's a good guy, even though you fight him. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Skate Hunter, Occupation Student, Fighting Style Street, Hobby Breakdancing, 2 star power, 3 star technique, 4 star speed, 4 star jump, 2 star stamina. Skate is a typical teenager. He keeps up with the latest styles and is slightly rebellious. He looks up to his big brother Adam, who is also his mentor and helps him train in martial arts. Moves Migraine, Corkscrew Kick, and Double Spit Kick. And the migraine is the when you vault over an enemy and punch them in the back of the head. Max Thunder. Occupation Pro Wrestler, Fighting Style Wrestling, Hobby Bodybuilding. Power 5 Star, 3 Star Technique, 1 Star Speed, 1 Star Jump, 4 Star Stamina. Kicked out of the Pro Wrestling Association because he refused to throw a fight, he joined Axel and Blaze to get rid of the Syndicate and also show his friends what a real German suplex is. And goddamn, was his suplex crazy. Spinning Knuckle Bomb, Thunder Tackle, Power Slide, Bear Hug, Thunder Body Slam, and Atomic Drop, which is so, so nice to pull off. Very satisfying. <clears throat> Dr. Gilbert Zan, Occupation Scientist, Fighting Style Science, Hobby Bowling. Four Star Power, Three Star Technique, Two Star Speed, Two Star Jump, Four Star Stamina. Dr. Gilbert Zane is a scientist, former syndicate member, and the one who discovered the element Rakushin. After the syndicate betrayed him, he was forced to become a cyborg. He then contacted Blaze Fielding to get payback. Now he helps people and tries to undo what he did while in the syndicate's employ. In particular, he built Lloyd's arms. Moves Electric Body, Electric Reach, Mach Dash, Mach Tackle, Mach Booster, Hyper Booster, an energy ball toss, which is what he would do with uh, melee weapons because he didn't have uh, animations for those. Okay. So he got some concept art for Adam. And then Streets of Rage 1 on top, Streets of Rage 2 in the middle, Streets of Rage 3. Okay. Unused character concept. Look at this great Saiyan man from Dragon Ball. Okay. That's literally great Saiyan man. He's got the cape, he's got the helmet. Right, so more Axel Adam concept art. The Adam Trees original one sprite. Adam wearing a trench coat. Because he was officially going to wear one. Got Axel, who was actually wearing a, a black jacket initially. Streets of Rage 2 Sprite, Streets of Rage 3 Sprite. What they wanted to do. He was initially going to wear some kind of jacket with uh, markings on it. So here he doesn't look fat, but the actual art, he does. Why is that?
very odd choice. Or like Vaxel, yeah, Vaxel. Well, you see the picture before? He's got abs. Like, why? Why does that not show in the game? All right, Blades. Oh, they got a sprite sheet for her. Oh, whoops. Shit. My girl. So it's actually a sprite sheet. That's her Streets of Rage 1 outfit, but that's not her Streets of Rage 1 sprite. Maybe that was like an unused Streets of Rage 2 sprite, where she was actually going to wear the red jacket. <laughs> right, I wish that she was going to be super slutty. How about that? She didn't have that outfit in Streets of Rage 3. I wonder where they got that outfit from, unless it was from one of the betas that never came out. for Cherry. It is odd that this game does not have alternate costumes, which Racer H3 had. That's kind of late. Yeah, so outside of Cherry having big combo potential, I didn't, I didn't really enjoy her that well. Um, She's very susceptible to more so than the other guys, even more than Axel, I'd say, than the cheap hits that the AI could do. Lloyd. Lloyd Harper. That's not his name, though. His name is Iranian Floyd or Floyd Iranian. So was his original name. Lloyd Irea, there is. So they initially had him look more like Max. Okay, so initially he had a jacket, then not different hair. And then they eventually went with the hair tied back. So he was just a reskin of Max, pretty much. They just altered Max to make Floyd. And why can't I play as Max? What the hell? Unused character concept. Right? A female roller skater. And this guy, this is literally, like I said before, great sign, man, for Dragon Ball Z. Without a doubt. Oh, shit. Here we go. Axel Blaze, Galcia, Electra, and Abadee. Ultimate fucking warrior. Look at that, Ernie. He's not in the game. <clears throat> He's not in it. What a tease. So they, they created a sprite for Abadidi, and he's not even in the game. Outside of the Streets of Rage 2 fight. It's funny, because he looks just like Hugo from Third Strike. The 
bikers aren't here either. Og. They're not in here. It's the women bikers. Jack. Jack isn't in here. I'm sure they call him Soya. That's his Japanese name. Hakuo from Juice Ridge 1. They're not in here. Hakuyo, he's not in here. Slump from Streets of Rage 3 is not in here. Vice, Streets of Rage 3 is not in here. Chiba, the ninjas, they're not in here. I wonder if they'll put them in his DLC. R Bear, R Bear is not in here. So they, they drew all these people who aren't in the game. And then they used the Streets of Rage 1, Electra as the boss of the boat. Those are her Streets of Rage 3 sprites. Now the funny thing is if you look at her Streets of Rage 2 sprite, she actually, her hand is the whip, but they actually gave her a hand in the art. So it's actually not fully 100% accurate because she originally didn't have the hand and it was, it was a retractable uh, whip. Victoria, these fucking annoying bitches, Elizabeth, Margaret, Anne, and Mary. I guess that was the original design for Diva. And these assholes with some superhero thing. Chicks with guns. That never happened. Fucking looks like uh oh my god, uh Joan Jet with the hair. Right, these guys are the the guys who have their hands in their pants. So initially they're gonna have pompadours. Very Japanese. The cops. Oh, so they're supposed to be the cops from the car. Oh, that makes sense. What? MRSSX? Not sure what you mean, Ernie. Yeah, these, uh, these chicks with the fucking bottles are annoying. Deepers, too, to be honest. Deal it. These lazy fucks. So this guy is supposed to be the replacement for Jack, the guy with the switchblades and Streets of Rage 2, but he fucking sucks. And the biker girls. EJ Kawashiro. It's a joke. I like apparently people had trouble with him. I guess if you don't stay in the corners, then maybe, but he was a pushover. I look more more cut Abadidi, so it's supposed to be like a Viking variant. They were never in the game. Hopefully they patch that where you get to play them. Oh, these bitches, the twins, Yasha and Onihime. Oh, God. Most Reason Rage 1 and 3. I mean, considering how much of a pushover most of the bosses are, 
It would have been curious to see if these bitches would have been half as annoying as they were in Streets of Rage 1 and 3. Galcia has eyes, Big Ben doesn't have eyes. Nora. That M. Bison hat. Diva. So it actually, it wasn't even, it didn't even happen until I played as Jerry, where I saw that they finally had the, the little hundred hand slap. Never pulled it off on me before until tonight. And then you'll notice the sprite on top. The top left is the Japanese sprite, and then the one on the right is the American, the censored sprite. She was showing too much skin, apparently. Mr. Y, that little bitch. Fucking pushover. This Y, another pushover. This is stage one. So that, that was cool, like some of the nods, like the Pine Pot, because that's from Streets of Rage 1. That was cool. Again, there, there's lots of little, little nuggets that are cool to watch. But um, just the game, oh shit. Damn, I didn't even know you could do that. I don't know you could scroll. Um, it's just the gameplay mechanics that are just frustrating in some regards. They give the enemies, the, the grunts, way too many priorities. When they shouldn't have it. They're grunts for a reason. And basic runs, like if you're talking <clears throat> higher tiered ones, then okay, they can have some tricks, but the regular runs should be easy, easy as pie. You should not have to worry about them having priority over your throws, your jumps. This is the police department. This is the boss fight with the commissioner. difference between the rough sketch and the more refined picture. It's interesting. Why Sigma needs to be a boss? <laughs> or maybe just show his face, right? That'd be, that'd be the thing to see his face for once. This is the prison. This is the uh, cargo ship.
Was she sitting on the chair? I don't even remember seeing her sit on it. But uh, as I mentioned the first time I fought her, that poster on the top left, <clears throat> that's Ash. And he's the boss that was uh, removed from the American Streets of Rage 3. He's only in the Japanese uh, Bare Knuckle 3. That's a cool little Easter egg. Obviously, you've got some, like, torture devices here. Which is pretty funny. Here's the layout of the level. My signal looks like Clark, 100% shit. <laughs> oh man, <clears throat> you give uh, Clark a, a mohawk, that'll do it. Yeah, what up, Nerd Strategy? So I just realized this, the uh, sign right there that says Thunder, it's actually Max Thunder, which is just Max. And the arcade cabinets are the same sprite used from the Streets of Rage 2 in the level when you go to the amusement park and you uh, go to the arcade cabinets. Where are my pixels? Arcade on fire. Pixels not dead. I want my pixels. Right, this is where you fight. Uh, what's your name? Estelle. Galcia was here. Speed Venom. Shokan. Tetch. Bar of the Rising Sun, Red Demon, Lens of Heaven. Just a bunch of license plates. Refight Barbin. No firearms allowed. Interesting. As you can see, White Tower in the background. Oh shit. Jet was here. Sons of Demons. Death is not. Change it. Biker 95, not something. Yeah, where's Jet? Where's the guys in the jetpacks? None of that. This is Chinatown. Some dead octopus. Beat the shit out of Shiva. I 
the art gallery. So here's the butt plug shipping to Paris. Teddy bear. Oh shit, look, it's a, it's a painting of Rue, the kangaroo. And a Picasso-esque picture of Galcia on the right corner. These are little details that you can't see in the game. It's actually pretty cool. Obviously, that's the Mr. X picture from Streets of Rage 2. The intro. Elevator. Fight Max. Well, the reason why Max is brainwashed is because of these speakers that were emitting a frequency that would brainwash him. Ah, here we go. Skyline Dirty Lemon Nightclub, Lucky Bucket, Hotel 7724, Dirty King, Dance All Night Long, Drop the Mic Concert Arena, Fight All Night Long, Play With Us. Because this is the original concept where you would fight the DJ. Powered by Y Corporation, make some noise festival. So initially you were going to fight him in a stage full of people. I don't even notice, to be honest, in the background if you see people. So it's funny because uh, dot .eu is French. So you'll notice that there's French written there. Start boss, one boss more, which is when boss dies, the drawbridge raises up. Then from here you can see the, uh, the robots on the left. Trees of Rage 2 and 3. Yeah, there they are. Stained glass. Mr. X in the middle. It's pretty cool. So again, enemies you don't see in this game. There's a Mr. X statue on the bottom. Not statue, but... 
drawing or whatever you want to call it. Ooh, this is a early mock-up iteration. All right, so here you see by Jack, <clears throat> it had a timer and it had a more traditional life bar. Enemies had life bars, life meter. Donovan looked different. Abedidi was there. You had a rage meter. Something different. I should have even noticed the money. I should have put your X on it. Never noticed that before. And you have Big Ben. You have Mr. Y. Turkey. Electra. And Galcia. This is when they subsequently started adding people. Cherry. Or Floyd. Or Adam. What's that? Holy shit, it's 340, fuck. Totally lost track of time. The early one looks way better. <laughs> it certainly looks more true to form, without a doubt. They ruined it, they should have kept the rage meter in the old style. I wonder what the rage meter would have been. Would it, would it have been the super moves that they have now, or would it have been like a, like a temporary like damage buff or invincibility buff? I, I don't hate the game, as I mentioned before. It's fun. It's enjoyable. But it doesn't really feel like Streets of Rage. Um, it feels more like a final fight game, if that makes sense. Um, there's just lots of little, like there's lots of details that are there, which are great, but there's also lots of little things that keep it from feeling like a Streets of Rage game. Little things like the enemy death cries, like when the enemies die, Streets of Rage 1, 2, 3, they made a really overblown death sound, you know? Yeah, things like that. Here, you don't hear that. They just, ugh. It's, it's very, very uh, weak. Punches with a melee weapon smacking somebody. You don't hear that. Whoosh. There's no impact. Uh, little things like that that just, why they decided not to do it is uh, scratches the head. Rage meter makes more sense than the stupid combo meter. Yeah, I'm not really sure what they were going for with the combo meter. And one another thing, why are, <clears throat> like the story mode, why are your lives not stacking, you know? It like resets your score each level and then resets your lives to three or two. Why isn't it like the old games where the score is consistent through your entire playthrough and your lives. I just don't, I don't understand like why they couldn't keep that the way it was in our, in the normal mode. And then level select, you can play it the way they want. It just, um, I don't understand what, why, why they did that. Cause millennials, they ruin everything. <laughs> I mean, this was made. Not by Sega. Um, they, they did outsource it. So, it, 
man, it's, it's hard to say. If again, I've only played it three times. I've only played it three times. Um, I can't fully give my judgment until I've played it with everyone. Um, but as of right now, it does not feel like a Streets of Rage game. It feels, like I said, more like a final fight, but not Streets of Rage. Um, but again, that, that's that's what you have Streets of Rage remake for, I suppose. But on the, on the positive side, because it's been getting so many good reviews, it's been getting a lot of publicity, um, they could then, the next iteration, do it the right way. The right way meaning get in touch with the guys who made Streets of Rage remake, have them do it in an official capacity, and then all will be right with the world. Anyways, it's 3.45, so let me head out. Um, obviously, next time, <clears throat> I'm going to play this Floyd, the heavy, see how he plays. Um, I just hope he has, like, crazy throws, because he's going to be the slowest guy, and that's going to be a pain in the ass with a lot of the enemies and their, their pokes and their priorities. So I don't know. Another playthrough right now for this fucking guy. Go to sleep, Bernie. Fuck. All right. Peace out, dude. Stay indoors. And if you jog, watch out for them people throwing shit at you. This is going to happen. Later.